I'm Big Cal, and welcome to my world. So, not in the usual place where I record, just because, uh, yeah, there's no real point messing about with that, because uh, due to the terrible lighting and things, it's dark outside, like in the afternoon now, it's winter and in England, uh, downstairs, not really a good place to record. Uh, upstairs, a little bit better, got a big light without a lampshade. I am aware that the quality is going to be much lower than usual because for some reason my camera hates lights. Crazy. But anyway, I will take nice high quality photos of all the things I'm going to show in this video and then put them on the screen instead of the shitty low quality video footage. So what is this video? As you might have guessed from the title, it is an unboxing of a Z-Box. These come from Zavi, and they're kind of like Loot Crate. They do do, uh, they do do, uh, they do monthly ones like Loot Crate subscriptions. And they've got themes every month. You get stuff in. Then every now and then they do special edition ones where they're only like 500 available. Uh, I have had one of these in the past that I unboxed. That was Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the 20th anniversary. And uh, this one I could not pass up because it is the Rick and Morty Z box. So. Already sliced it open with the old scissors to uh, save doing that on camera. So now let's open it and see what have we got. Uh, I'm just going to go in like this. Oh, we have the t-shirt. Always going to be a t-shirt in here. Let's have a look. Hmm. Uh, I got size large, but I am wondering now if it is even going to fit because I got another t-shirt in the post today from Zavi. And normally I, I get large sizes and they're a little bit too tight and I think, oh, I'm going to the gym now, I'll lose a bit of weight, I'll fit into them soon. But for the t-shirt I got, I thought, I want to wear it at Christmas, I'll get an extra large. It's fucking tiny. I'm not joking. I took this t-shirt off to compare it. This is a large. This fits me rather nicely. It's a good size. The extra large t-shirt from Zavi looks like a size fucking small. I tried to put it on. No go. Anyway, so this is size large, probably not going to fit perfectly, but once I lose a bit more weight, I'll be fine. Let's see what we got for the old Rick and Morty. Yep, open up. Let's have a look. Oh, that is a nice t-shirt. Nice black, the Rick and Morty logo, you got Rick and Morty in the spaceship, and then you got the Rick and Morty faces uh, done in the star constellations. That is a very, very nice t-shirt. I very much like that. Um, once I can fit into it properly, I will certainly wear that. Um, again, not sure how it's looking on the camera now, but I'll do a nice big photo of it to show it off in the video. Right, let's get that out of the way. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay. Uh, poster. Hmm. There's only one thing on the end. Oh well, it's easy to get it out, I guess. Well, let's have a look and see what kind of poster we got for the old Rick and Morty. <laughs> that is a very nice poster. This is something I would certainly consider getting a frame for and putting up on my wall. Again, not sure how, what it'll look like on the camera, so I'll do a photo, but it's got sort of like, like a Pokemon card shiny effect to it. It's kind of like a, a purple. That sort of kind of reminds me of um, my shiny Dark Hypno Pokemon card with the whole purpley colour. Really cool picture there. Rick and Morty with guns, Evil Morty. Um, yeah, you got some other people whose names I genuinely cannot remember at this point in time. But yeah, that's a really cool poster. I, I quite like that. Yeah, I would definitely, uh, that's definitely something I would buy a frame for and put on my wall. It's really cool. I'll just uh, roll it up and put it away for now. Lovely goodness. Let's see what else we get in this. Uh, mm, mm, not much else left, I think, actually. Okay, we've got an action figure. We have Morty. Fully, fully posable action figure. Includes left arm for snowball builder figure. What? Uh, okay, so you got Morty there with the little gun, and then uh, a left arm for a snowball. So on the back, um, it says you can get Rick, you can get Morty, Mr. Meeseeks, Mr. Puppy Butthole, Bird Person, and then Builder Figure, Snowball in Mech Suit. So I'm wondering if you have to buy all the others to build the Mech Suit up? 
Uh, do you get Snowball on its own, or does do Snowball come with one of the others? It's part of the build set. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Um, yeah, I'm not really into action figures, so uh, if anyone wants this, it'll be going on the old eBay soon. Um, if it was Mr. Meeseeks or Mr. Puppy Butthole, I might have kept it, but um, as such. Yeah, not really that bothered to be honest, uh, but it is a cool figure, so not bad. Um, running out of things in here. Gonna guess straight away this is a pop figure. And who we got? Bird person! I, can't, I like bird person. Um, yeah, I'll be coming back into the show soon, hopefully, when the new series eventually arrives as the you know, robot bird or whatever the hell they called it. Uh, so that's what that looks like. Uh, could have also got Weaponized Rick, Weaponized Morty, Mr. Meeseeks, which would have been awesome, uh, Squanchy, Bird Person, Mr. Puppy Butthole, and Snowball. Uh, again, I'm not into pop figures either. If this had been Mr. Meeseeks or Mr. Puppy Butthole, I would have kept it, but as such, Bird Person, I like him, but not enough to have a pop figure with the big weird heads. So, again, anyone wants this? eBay, eBay. Right, and is there actually anything else in here? Yes, uh, is this just the booklet telling me? Um, no. Oh, it's a Rick and Morty comic, issue number 31. Genuinely had no idea they did Rick and Morty comics. Um, yeah, okay. That looks rather interesting. Definitely give this a read. Not typically into comic books that much. Um, you know, I would read Star Wars ones because I've got the Vader comics. Um, but outside of that, I'm not normally interested, but might, I'll definitely give this a read since I've got it. I don't know if it would be something I would buy. My... Sorry, um, flicking through and just saw a panel, and I'm pretty sure an alien is about to probe a cow's anus. With its finger. Well, it definitely has the Rick and Morty humour in it, I guess, so uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll definitely uh, give that a read and keep hold of it as well. And that is your whack. So the normal uh, Z boxes, the monthly subscription ones, cost 20 quid. And quite frankly, uh, I have had one before that I got free with a t-shirt, and I've got another one coming that came free with the t-shirt that don't fucking fit. <laughs> Um, so we'll see what's in that, and I've never really been truly impressed with what's in them for the money. For £30 though, what do we get? We get the nice t-shirt, really cool t-shirt, very much like that, and most of these kind of t-shirts tend to go for about 15 quid online, so that's probably, you know, that's half your money. You've got the pop figure, those are what, about a tenner, so we're already up to, you know, 25 quid. The figure has got to be at least a fiver, maybe, I don't know how much these got, maybe a tenner, so we're already up a fiver. Then you've got the Rick and Morty comic, that's kind of cool, can't be much more than a couple of quid. And then the, uh, yeah, the old poster, again, a couple of quid. So you may be only getting an extra ten pounds worth of stuff altogether, if you were to sort of bump up the price as to what the maximum will be, not necessarily what people buy them. Um, yeah, but it is just a nice cool box. The box is really nice as well. It's got this, you know, really cool, um, like, you know, uh, shiny uh, silver thing and that. But they fucking, they put the big Porsche's label right on the bastard in front. They, at least with the Buffy one, I think they put it on the side of the back. You know, they could have put it on the bottom there, you know, instead of on the top. It kind of ruins the, uh, the box because I tend to keep the stuff within the box. Um, well, I did with a Buffy, I'm going to sell a couple of these things, so I'm probably not too fussed about the box being there like that. But yeah. So for £30, yeah, you get your money's worth, I think. Um, if you're into action figures and pop figures, you'll definitely would have enjoyed it more than me. Uh, but hopefully I'll sell them and get some money back. The t-shirt's really cool, definitely want to wear that. Uh, the comic, I'll definitely read that. And the poster, yeah, like I said, really cool looking poster. And it's one of those that I would certainly buy a frame for. And I think at some point I will. And hang up on my wall. So, I'm Big Cal. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time.